no more and by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished to die, to sleep. <laughs> to sleep for chance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who will bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong? The proud man's contemplate, pangs of despise, love the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might as quiet as make with a bare bodkin. Who would these fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that the dread of something after death, that undiscovered country from whose the born no traveller returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all.